Wow, a hundred years. That's a long time. I can only imagine in 1919, a group of people starting to get together and wanting to do good things. Good things for the Lord, good things for the community. A hundred years is a huge milestone. We love Sogging Shores. Our church family loves Sogging Shores. We love to be a part of this beautiful community. And we can think of no other way to give thanks than to do a hundred plus acts of kindness for our community. And so starting today on this Thanksgiving Sunday, as we celebrate a hundred years of ministry in our community, we're encouraging everyone to do acts of kindness. We don't want this process or this exercise to just be about people from within our own church community. We want this to reach the community that we love. So we want you to go outside the people that we know and make other people around us, make their day. So I've set up a few rules to help guide us through this process. Because when we do something good, we wanna share it. We wanna make sure that we share it as best we possibly can. So here are the rules, here are the guidelines. Has to be people that are not connected with our church. Has to be outside of our church community. Don't do random things just for people that we know. Do these acts of kindness for people that are in our community. So we want you to take a picture of what you've done. Not to be awkward or anything like that, but just capture a picture if you can. And write a little bit down about what you did and then bring that back to the church because what we want to do is we want to make a wall of all the things between now and the end of the year that we have done as people to show love for our Soggy Shores community. So some ideas could be raking the leaves for somebody. Perhaps there's somebody on your street or where you live that you just know could use some help raking leaves. Could be shoveling the driveway. Could be carrying in somebody's groceries. It could be as simple as just making someone smile. These are just some examples you can do. Be creative. But the idea is, is we, we want to inspire creativity. So if you have a way of making someone's day, this is an opportunity for you to do that. Simple acts of kindness can make, make the difference in someone's life to share the love of Christ. The whole idea here is that this doesn't stop. Wouldn't it be awesome if we started a movement, our 100 year celebration in this community as a launching pad for a fresh start of doing acts of kindness for those around us. So we're hoping that this doesn't stop on December 31st. We're hoping that this develops into a brand new culture, a brand new movement of people loving people. After all, Jesus was our best example. He loved people. Let's love our community. One person, one act of kindness at a time. Would you join us in this journey?